got here some crocodile clips, a DC connector, cables and a soldering iron. First, you take off the tips. Take your iron and then thin those wires on the end. Heat it up and lay some tin on them. Heat up the wire, take up some solder and let it flow on it. So it's nice and shiny. Take this wire, figure out which is the negative and the positive. And I have a setup here with my battery and my power supply. I have 12 volt out and my positive is connected to the positive. I'm sure of that. I can measure that. See, I'm sticking in the negative inside of the DC connector and measuring on the positive and I don't have a voltage. It's negative on the meter, so the negative is for sure on the outside because now I'm gonna measure in the positives. This was just to tell you that the negative is the outside and the positive the inside. This small pin is the inside, so that's gonna be the positive. And let's start with that. I'm gonna take my little helper, because that's gonna be a whole lot easier. Heat up that little pin we talked about, but not too long, because the plastic around it, the insulation of that DC connector can be molten. So we need to be quick. The same deal. Heat it up. That's all. Always work with a really hot iron for this. Start with the positive cable. The same deal. Try to be as fast as possible. Heat up the wire. Let it flow and let it harden. Now with the negative, the same deal. Yo. Heating, melting, holding, done. Lock this cable in place at the insulation. Take the outer insulation, take the outer wires. There we go. One finished DC connector. Do the continuous check so you don't have a short. Nope. Great connector.